Welcome back everybody. Got another video. Got a new item in the garage and it's not a Polaris. It's not our standard wedge chassis, Gen 2 chassis, whatever. It's my childhood dream sled. That's right. It is an 07 Rev 440 stretched to a 136 and it's 800 swapped. It's got an 800 mod motor in it. Uh, backstory on the sled, it was Josh Zelinski's. he built it. Uh, he bought a brand new 07 roller and he had his 800 mod motor from when he raced Eagle River in 05, which was the last year that they had 800 mods. Uh, when they did away with the mod sleds or the 800s, he put the motor on the shelf two years later he, uh, he built the sled and just used it for boondocking, uh, uphill drags, whatever. Uh, right now it's set up on uh, trail heads. It's got regular pump gas heads on it. I got two extra sets of heads for it. I have like a, like a full race head and then I have like, a, like, a, like an advanced trail head, I guess. It runs on like half and half, 110.93. But uh, yeah, this is it. I mean... I uh, had my eye on it for a long time. It's the color scheme I want, the black front bumper, yellow panels. It has the Lexan hood, but the Lexan hood isn't that great. Um, I have some work that I wanna do to it. I gotta change the slides out. I, I wanna do the rails black, go through the whole rear skid, make sure that it's good to go. Um, I do need to buy a new track for it. I don't trust this. Um, I have no idea how this even happened. But uh, right now, I mean, I looked up the number on the track and it's a two inch by 136 by 16 with a 2.52 pitch. Um, I was a little bit confused because the ad said 136, but I looked up the 07 440s came stock with 2.86 drivers. So I was thinking, well, maybe it's a 137, but track number says it's 2.52 and it's a two inch lug. But uh, I got a line on a Polaris Wolverine track um, out of the, I think the 20, out of the 2020 sled. Um, it's studded and I kind of want studs. I, ro I rode this yesterday and not having studs is a little bit sketchy, but um, it was kind of nice not having studs because I can get in and out of the garage, no problem. And I'm not tearing shit up, um, but it's got CNAs on it which I would like to swap out. The XTs are a little bit aggressive for trail riding. I mean, I'm gonna ditch bang it, but um, it's got Rox hand guards, which I'm gonna swap out. Uh, I want to change out the, the grips because these are just hideous and uh, change out the, the hand guards, like I just said. And then I'd like to get a new uh, snow flap for it. It's kind of nice that the kid I got it from had this uh, tunnel bag on it from Skidoo, but overall it's uh, it's really clean. It's not dented. I mean, clean as structurally and um, cosmetically like inside, it's pretty dirty in there. The thing probably just is really hard on belts. I rode it yesterday and it rips. Um, there's just a lot of belt dust and stuff in the, in the engine compartment or on the clutch side. But this is it. I got it home. Um, I, I don't know how much I'll actually get to ride it, depending if we have the full race season or not. But this has been my dream sled since I was 14. My dad raced the last I-500 on an 07 Rev. And I was, yeah, I was like 14 or 15. And I always said, I'm going to buy one of them someday with an 800 in it or, uh, or a 600 swap, whatever. But this, this pretty much is it. Like, this is what I'm really happy with. And even going all through college with no money and like seeing these things pop up and they're fairly cheap and now they're just hard to come by. And so when I saw this, I snatched it up. But this is the new purchase. I got some uh, GoPro footage from yesterday. I, uh, I swapped out, it had Jaws trail cans on it, but I put the stingers on it yesterday, took it for a rip. Definitely need your plugs which I wore, thank God, because it's loud. Um, and when I, I stopped on the trail and the recoil, like whatever, didn't, didn't engage all the way, it kind of skipped. And I was like, great, I'm gonna have to get towed. But 
it, uh, I got to put a new recoil on it. So I think I'll probably just buy a new recoil instead of having to tear that one apart and just fix it and then keep it or tear it apart after I get the new one on. Um, because I don't want to tear it apart and then find out what I need. And then, yeah, I'll just buy a new one. That way it's just on, off, or off, on, whatever. But, um, yeah, I mean, this is it. I don't, I, I don't really want to do a full review on it yet because it's, it's dirty, but pipes and it's, it's in pretty good shape. I want to get new, uh, replica decals. I, I want to keep it the same look get the new decals for it and just clean it up and change out rusty bolts and new skis. And yeah, I'm really happy with it. So thanks for watching.